Fox News alert now on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers are putting new focus on the use of taxpayer money to wage political campaigns. There's a hearing about 90 minutes from now into new questions about whether the Democratic National Committee used the White House Blue Room to hold what critics describe as a fundraising event for President Obama's reelection campaign. The White House says it did nothing wrong. Let's debate that with Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host, and Lars Larson, syndicated radio host for Compass Media Network. Networks. Hello to both of you. Hi. Good morning. Uh, okay, so Lars, I want to start with you. The White House says that these 20 Wall Street executives who were invited into the White House were there for a policy discussion with President Obama on the economy. What's the problem with that? Well, sure they were. And I'm, I'm going to cut Leslie off at the uh, pass by saying, first of all, she's going to say everybody does it. That may be true, but this is a good time to stop it. This was supposed to be an ethical administration, a transparent administration. We all know that President Obama started running for president right after he became a U.S. senator, and he's never stopped running. Run, Barry, run. The fact is, though, it's unconscionable to use the White House as a fundraiser. We don't like renting out the Lincoln bedroom back in the day when that happened, Leslie. And we don't like the idea that the president invites in all these potential donors to a policy meeting. And then, of course, I'm sure they're going to get a fundraising call in the next week or two, and they're more likely to break out the checkbook. Okay. It's really kind of lousy, especially from a White House that said they were going to push lobbying and all that money out. Uh, Leslie, your response? <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, Lars, but thanks for trying to read my mind. Kiss, kiss. Here's the deal, okay? You know, when, when, when Cheney and Bush did it, it was a social event, okay? And if it's a social event, it's okay. And now the buck has to stop, Lars, because there's a Democrat and President Obama is the Democrat in the White House and we have an election around the corner next year in 2012. Come on, what do you want him to do? Cross Pennsylvania Avenue so we won't be at his home and his office? You know, the DNC doesn't need to walk into the White House to talk to people on Wall Street and get checks from them. Those on Wall Street that are going to support the president did before and they will again. And the bottom line here, Lars, is what you guys on the right are asking the president to do. You're asking him to turn the economy around and create jobs, even though you want less big government. And how is he supposed to do that if he doesn't meet with top business leaders on Wall Street? I'm, and don't you meet I'm with those business leaders where you work? And that's the White House. I'm so glad that you asked, Leslie. And do, uh, listen, here's what I'd like to suggest. Let's make sure all presidents stop doing this. And here's an idea. If you only invite your political buddies and those who are political, you know, I guess uh, fellow travelers, if you don't mind the phrase, uh, to come to the White House, you're not going to hear a lot of critical ideas. Critical ideas like cutting back regulations, like lowering taxes, like making it a better business environment, and reining in the EPA. In fact, for my, for my money, shut down the EPA and turn it into something that actually helps Helps business. Okay. You're not going to hear those ideas you know, from Republicans who are invited. Lars, you're making a good point. Leslie, I want you to get to respond to that. No Republicans were invited. I mean, these were donors previously to what the Obama campaign. So if it were really a policy discussion, then perhaps all sides of the aisle should have been invited. And do you have a problem with the DNC organizing this and the DNC extending the invitations to people? No, I don't, because the DNC paid for it. And if they didn't, Lars would be complaining that his tax dollars paid for this meeting. I mean, come on, we can't win here. The, again, oh. when we look at this group of people, Lars, hey, by the way, is John Boehner one of the buddies? He's been invited to the White House. I understand in this meeting there weren't Republicans, but Republicans have been invited to the White House in the past. This is being harped on because you guys have nothing else on the president. You got, well, you got nothing, Allison, Lars. Is this the best you can do? Allison. Is yes. it a DNC event or a White House event? Is it a policy event or a political event or fundraising event? We got to get this clear. And it's not very clear when the DNC is involved. And I'll tell you what, I'll make you the promise, Leslie, when there's a Republican president in in January of 2013, I'll hold him to the same standard. How's that? <laughs> and, and you know, we should let everybody know that 90 minutes from now, Congressman Darrell Issa is holding a hearing on this very thing because he thinks that they have blurred the line so much so at the White House or the DNC that it actually could violate the um, Hatch Act. But in any event, uh, as you were pointing out, uh, Leslie, I believe the RNC did this as well. They did this for President George H.W. Bush. They did this for Ronald Reagan. But at that time, it was called, you know, Christmas events or parties for Easter, things like that. And so uh, does that change the tenor of it? 
No, uh, because this is semantics. Again, when Dick Cheney did this as vice president uh, in his front yard, which the taxpayers pay for, uh, it was a social event. And by the way, if we talk about the Hatch Act, the Hatch Act was, it was developed in the 30s because they didn't want people to subscribe and belong to an organization that was going to be against the Constitution and try and overthrow the government. I can assure you, the president being a constitutional attorney and having practiced constitutional law for 10 years, uh. wasn't doing that. The DNC wasn't doing that. This was not pernicious. And that is what the Hatch Act is all about, all right. Lars, and you know, you know it. It, We're going to have to leave it there, but we shall see what happens 90 minutes from now when uh, Daryl Issa begins questioning people about this March 7th event. Thanks so much for coming in to debate it for us. Thanks, Allison. Thank you.